out! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Before we get into the hunt today, which I am extremely excited about, finally, some ducks. Yes, it's finally that time of year. We're late. It's been warm for a while. Real quickly, when you sign up for the Ducks T-shirt of the month, it automatically enters you into having a chance to come hunt with myself or Cole Townsend or Andrew Flair. Every single month, someone will be chosen to be put into a pot, and then at the end of the season, we will draw from that pot. So, it's really good chances to win this thing. When you sign up for the Ducks T-shirt of the month, which it is linked at the top of the description, you not only get a dope, affordable T-shirt in the mail every single month, but again, the winner, they get to choose if they want to come hunt with me at my lodge, with Cole at his lodge, or with Flair in Nebraska. One of the coolest giveaways we've ever done. Don't miss out on this one, guys. Let's get to hunting. Was that a teal? Woody? Ooh, right in the decoys. You guys loaded down there? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll probably shoot right at shooting light. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds, huh? Fifteen. Look, look, they know they out of here. Oh my god, you can't see them. You guys can shoot that one on the water. See them right in front of you? Oh, he's all sorts of tore up. Oh gosh, look at, that. look at this. Wow. Land. <laughs> on the left, on the left. <laughs> Two in front, decoy. Right there. Oh, three. <laughs> Dude, when they're yeah. eye level with the grass, you cannot see them. Here's in front, yep. Three in front, guys. You get him? Nope. I can't see anything. Right there. There it is. There it is. Uh, that was not me, I don't believe. Come here. here. You can't see him, dude. That's tough. Drop no. They disappear down here. there. Ooh, wood duck. Oh, there we go. Oh, right here on the right. Holy smokes. Oh. Yep. Get ready, guys. Kill that single. Oh, my God. I can't see you. Oh! Hey. Nope. <laughs> that was, yeah. Dude, you can't see him down there. No. I, oh, two out, out, two out front, two out front. God, you can't, it's almost impossible, man. Dude, these mosquitoes <laughs> will damn near drag you off. I mean, yeah. Oh, 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 back got him there. Oh, told you we were gonna eat. Yeah, we told you. <laughs> they were a little. Far. Yeah, they were out there quite a bit. Same deal. Oop, on the left, he landed. You go ahead and kill him again on the left side, he's closer. Oh! Oh! Thank you. Yep. <laughs> we appreciate your 
nice. Give him the old number two again. Ow! There you go. Third try is the charm. He's got to see that bird. Oh, yeah, he out of here. Look out. <laughs> he, says, he says, hell yeah, Dad. There's a drive. I'm going to go get that bird. Well, solo dolos. I'll take them solo dolos. Should get some groups here. some people hunting the bottoms straight yeah down. there's nobody hunting that i'm surprised are you some fucking mosquitoes are so bad <laughs> yeah they said f this we're staying in the truck boys <laughs> the mosquitoes are vicious they've carried all of us off once or three times uh thanks for the way i got whelped yeah. all over my face <laughs> they weren't out here a week ago <laughs> Whew, they are they're vicious but another one down Get in here. They're all woodies. Well, we'll stand up on three and try them. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, okay. One out of three. Hey. It, what between snipe and well the problem is rails? there's three different type of snipe only one of the snipes you can kill yeah look at that good god one shot would take all of them out yeah we have fuck kill like that they are neat yeah fuck kill like that would be good yeah it would be <laughs> be nasty those are snipe for sure i don't know they're a hundred percent you shot him, so he'd be like right here, somewhere. Mike, if we go right to it, you're screwed, man. <laughs> All right there. there you go. Boom, boom, greener with a band. Oh, that'd be killer, wouldn't it? There you go. All yours, buddy. That was your stone cold dead teal right there. Long shot. Last shot. Only took 10. Here. Where'd he go? Where's he at? See him? Said he's behind this tree. Oh, there he is. Wood duck. Right. Sweet. We got us a gentleman of the marsh. Ooh, he's he's pretty. Sweet. They're pretty, man. Man, they are pretty. Yeah. Good looking bird. Daggum. Solid. Yep. All right. Look at that. That's a ton. That's super cool. You like them plucked, huh? Yeah. Do you? How do you how do you like cooking them? Gravy. Gravy. Rice and gravy. Rice and gravy. I don't think I've ever had it, dude. Really? Yeah. yeah. Leaving the fat on them. Mm -hmm. I've Cook never them had. Down it. until all the meat falls off. 
Mm -hmm. Pull the carcasses out. We don't do a lot of plucking. You don't do a lot of plucking, do you? No. <laughs> Fine when you only got seven birds, but kill a bunch of them. Yeah, we played a little pool game last night to bet on it. Uh-oh. You guys lost, Money. huh? No, we won. Oh, you won? 20 bucks a bird. Oh! <laughs> Look, he's like, that guy. That guy. Well, well, we're at the lodge. I haven't got to see the new addition. Oh, smells real nice in here. Is that That's sweet. Yep. I need a pool table. Nice give some, some guys something to do. This is nice, dude. You needed this. This is sweet. Y'all haven't been here in a while. Oh, nice table. Who did your table? My dad. Dang, dude. That's nice. This looks way different in here. Nice place. People can eat lunch and dinner. Dude, that's sweet. I like the bar top. Yeah, God, it's looking nice in here, dog. This is new. Do bar tops with crock pots and Dude. chill out. That's sweet. Look at that beaut. God dang. Black duck mallard hybrid. <laughs> Black duck mallard hybrid. That looks crazy. It just we looks thought weird. for the longest time it was a brewer's duck, but we sent it to a biologist and he said it was a black duck mallard hybrid. Wow. What uh, what dates do you got open for the season? I still have um, October 31st, November 1st, November 2nd available at Specs and Ducks. Um, one or two dates left in November for non-lodging. All my lodging stuff's booked. December, I have one or two dates left for um, lodging and meals. Mm -hmm. In January, one, two, three. In January, five, six, seven is very good dates for mallards, and I still have them available for uh, ducks and geese and yeah. lodging and meals. Kansas extended it. That is yes, so cool. Yeah. This is the first year we will ever be able to shoot ducks at the no. beginning of January. No. A anywhere in Kansas. No. No. It's going to be a special year. Seems like that time of year, they're always in the fields everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. And we're Can't watching about stud yeah. freaking pintails. Yeah. Yeah, so. it'll be good. What's the easiest for them to get a hold of you? So just give me a call, 620-639-5535, or check us out on our website, wingchaseoutdoors.com. Okay, you heard the man. Okay, back home. Thank you, sis. We got my daughter, Harper, holding the camera. Thank you, honey. Um, so I, uh, we went and looked at the birds. We, uh, we went to Cameron's Lodge. Um, when we were picking up, I, I picked up my gun, and um, it, I can't, the bolt won't move. Uh, my bolt was stuck back, and uh, we were picking up uh, blinds, decoys, and I was like, I don't know what's wrong. I'm, I'm just going to deal with it later. So we went to the lodge and everything. I forgot about it, honestly. I uh, for, forgot about the issue with my gun. Um, got home. This is the next day. Got home yesterday. Um, got it out of my truck to take it in. Still couldn't get it. There's actually, there's a, uh, there's still a, a shell, probably two in the tube. Tipped it over and just chuck, chunks of metal started falling out of it. Um, I'm like, oh no, I broke my bolt. I broke the carrier or something in there. No. We struck the first baffle completely annihilated the first baffle i don't know if you can see in there can you see in there honey mm -hmm. you can Ooh, look at that so here's the first part it's the cone the first cone i don't know what happened so um that happened i'm gonna hopefully i caught something on shot cam or on my gopro throwing metal or sparks but it completely annihilated it and i don't know why yikes um, good thing i didn't shoot it again you know i don't think actually i couldn't shoot it again because after the shot i put my gun up you know i stood it up on the ground and all of the metal from the silencer just ran down my barrel and now my bolt is completely lodged. I'm going to have to take the entire gun apart. Hopefully it didn't wipe out my bolt or, or something in there. Uh, but yeah. 
I have no clue what happened. Um, it might be operator error on cleaning. It was only a three inch uh, shell. They say don't, don't run three and a half, obviously, because it's too much. I've used it a bunch. I have not, I haven't shot a lot of uh, three inch steel through it, uh, but quite a bit. I've been on three or four teal hunts, you know. Three or four till hunts, never had an issue. I've cleaned it probably three times, four times since I've owned it. I have no idea, but good thing my bolt did stick back because uh, um, if, if I would have shot it again, I think it would have been really bad, really, really bad, but what to do now? Okay, little update. Got a hold of my boy Bryce over at JK Armament. Uh, where they make the silencers. Um, he was like, holy cow, dude, what did you do? And I'm like, I did nothing. Uh, he was like, send me a picture of the box of shells you've been using. Um, they are three inch bismuth. I was told not to use tungsten or three and a halfs. Um, that's the fourth hunt um, that I've used bismuth, okay? The same shell. Um, I sent him the box, sent him more pics. And he goes, go ahead and send me the silencer back. We will upgrade all of your baffles so you shouldn't have an issue at all. We're going to examine your silencer and try to figure out exactly what happened. So big shout out to JK Armament. Their uh, customer service is uh, amazing. It's amazing. You can't beat it. Um, they take care of their folks, uh, stand behind their product, and... Um, and, and they, they completely make sure you're satisfied and you are equipped um, properly and you don't have a uh, product of theirs that is uh, malfunctioning or broke. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna allow you to just eat it. They're gonna, they're gonna fix it for you. They're amazing people. But I'm sure here soon uh, when I get it back, they're gonna give me some information. They're gonna tell me what happened and what I need to do better which is probably clean it and I need to probably clean it more often and run it wet well running it wet means when you clean it you completely coat all of the inside you take every baffle apart and you completely coat the entire inside of the silencer with Vaseline what that does it keeps it wet so the corrosion doesn't keep building up and the tolerance go down on the inside diameter so hopefully um, they're going to uh, give me some good information. I probably need to do better housekeeping and maintenance on it, to be honest with you. But I want to tell you guys real quick, at Sandhill Flyways, I have some dates available. Mid-November, I can fit a few folks. The end of December, I can fit a few folks. Uh, I have the farmhouse available, the duck shack available. January, I can fit a few folks. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll be giving you guys an update here shortly on the silencer. But until next time.